RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Politan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Pick it up. Go ahead, you were here first. Oh no, after you. Oh, go ahead, pick it up. No, you go ahead, pick it up. I had a thing, somebody pick up the phone. Hello, hello, oh, wait a minute. Ollie, stop it. Hello, hello. Oh, okay, fine, thank you, put it through. What is it? It's your call. I knew it was for me. Yes. Yeah, just a minute. Yes, he's here. Just a minute, the phone's tangled. Did <laughs> you tangle? I did not. Yeah, well, the cord was on. The cord was... What? Oh, yeah, just a minute. Who is it? It's your call, the Dragon Retreat. Oh, goody, it's Mother. It's mother, it's mother, Jack. Jack, it's mother. Wonderful. Oh boy, it's Linwood. Li Where's Linwood? <laughs> He's working on another show tonight. Oh, don't tell Mercedes. She'll be heartbroken. What's he working on? Oh, he's working on Cinderella tonight. The magic slate. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's mother. It's, mo it's mother, Cass. <laughs> it's mother. Mother, hello, mother. No, no, she's on here. This is hello. They're getting through. Yeah, hello. It's a long route to get through to Dragon's Retreat. Through Manchester and Peru, Vermont, by way of Rutland and Albany. Hello, Albany. Hello. Oh, it's the operator. It's four one three ring five. You don't have to tell me my own number. I know. It's 413 ring 5. 413 ring 5. I can remember that in the middle of the night. Hurry up. Just a minute. Hello? Hello? It's your father. I don't want to talk to him. How Sorry. come? I just don't want to. I want to talk to Mother first. Put in the call for Mother. Hello? He's on the desk. Who? Your father. Eh, he sits any place. No, no. I mean, he's working. At the desk. Oh. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Dragon! It's Mother! It's Mother, everybody! It's Mother! It's Hello, Mrs. Kukla! Yes! Yeah, well, here he is right now. Oh, Mother. Fine. How are you? That's good. Hot. Yeah, it was 92 here today or more. No, I didn't go in. The water's too cold. That's always the way. When the, when the weather's hot, the water is cold. It's costing money. Oh. <laughs> How's the water at Fisherman's Falls? Still falling? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's father? Oh. <laughs> well, tell him to go down to Fisherman's Falls. A little fishing and doing some good. Well, I wanted to talk to him, but I'm not, no, not right now. See, the thing is, I wanted to, well, I wanted to talk to you about a birthday present for him. Yeah. I also wanted to talk to you about, you know, Fran's coming out. Yeah, she's coming out. Oh, we can take care of things here. Well, we can't, Mom. No. We can't come out. We got a show to do, Kukla and I. You could go. No, I cannot. Shh. <laughs> Nothing, Mom. No, see, we're going to stay here and hold down the fort. Mm hmm. No. Well, Fran will be out there. She's just coming for a week. She's going to New York first, and then she'll take a run up there and talk to you about things. 
Oh, we can take care of things here. Yeah. Well, just a minute. I'll call her. Let's talk to Fran. Fran! Yes, everything's nice here, Miss Dragon. Don't worry about things here. Who's on the phone? My mother! Oh, oh my let mother! Me talk to her. No. Hey, here. Okay. Were you talking? Talk to you later, Mrs. Dragon. Were you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Hello. How are you? How's the connections, isn't it? It's good. It's just like she's in the next, next room. room. Hello? Oh, well, it's nice to talk to you, too. Well, I don't know exactly, but when I get to New York, I'll let you know. When's the pageant? Ask her when the pageant's going to be. When is the pageant? Oh, goodness, not till in July. Oh. Uh, uh, we were just concerned. Oh? Oh, Tell her to fix up the bunk bed for you. You love the bunk bed. I love the bunk. I don't like the bunk bed. <laughs> uh, well, I th oh, they'll be all right. Well, he's been wonderful. Yes, he has. Well, he wore them. He cut the arms and legs out early. Well, he's all right now. Yes, it's fine. Your throat's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. it's oh, yes, fine. Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, I think I have everything pretty well outlined. I'm going to leave a list of things for them to do. Well, they're, they're very resourceful and very responsible. Yes, they are. Well, I think I've thought of everything. Well, I'll let you know. Would you like to say something more? Yeah. Mother! Mother, we'll be up. We're coming up as soon as we go off the air, Mother. Yeah. Will you tell Fran what would be a good birthday present for Father? Maybe she can pick it up in New York. Yeah. Cuckoo wants to talk to you. Hello, Miss Dragon! We'll see you in about... Well, we have two more weeks, and then right after that, we're going to get in our station wagon. We're going to drive off. Yeah. <laughs> Cecil Bill sends... Cecil Bill sends Tui Tui to you. Yeah. Madam, Madam Oglebus says hello, and so does Beulah and Colonel Cracky. They'll be with us. We're all going to... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll take care of everything, Mother. How's Uncle Dorchester? Oh, same old trouble. Well, tell cousin, tell cousin, or Aunt Dorothy will be there. We're going to stop at Cousin Dorothy's on the way, yeah. And, hmm? Yeah, we will. Don't oh, don't worry. <laughs> you bet. Yeah, we'll get plenty of hay up in the barn, because, you know, I like to get up there and jump down on the hay mow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's Cuckoo. All right. I'll tell him. Goodbye. What'd now, she say? Well, she says everything is fine. They're very anxious for, of course, for you to get home. Oh. They're anxious to see you. But uh, she wanted to be sure that you'd be all right. And I guess you know how much I'm depending on you now to take care of things. Oh, we're going to take care of things, aren't we, Coop? You bet. Well, well now, just to... a second, because I, I, I know you will. You'll do everything that, that occurs to you to do. But I sort of made out a little list of things. I'd like you to take care of, so, uh, would you wait a minute? Sure. Uh-oh, a list. I thought we were going to be able to do it our own way, on our own schedule. <laughs> Did you say something? No, we're just talking. We're just, just talking, weren't we? Yeah, you know, just talking. Mumble, mumble. Oh. No, just talking. Well, Lovely speak day. Up. My goodness. Hot, we said. Well, I think I'm all ready. I think I have everything in hand. <clears throat> Be good while I am gone Do everything you should while I'm away Take care of everything Let everybody share the work each day Carry on your usual household routine You'll do all right And be sure the pots and pans that you clean are sparkling bright be good while i am gone do everything you should while i'm away be good and think how good it will be when i'll be back to stay here's a little list that i've made for you these are all the things you're supposed to do dust all the furniture, scrub down the floor, 
Water all the flowers every single day at four. Sweep off the front porch, back porch too, and empty all the hampers when the laundry man is due. Defrost the icebox, make up the bed, and no one leaves this house without a cap on their head. Lock every door, turn out every light, and don't forget our TV set, turn it off at night. Be good while I am gone. Do everything you should while I'm away. Be good and think how good it will be when I'll be home to stay. Be good. Can I depend? I'm leaving everything in your hands now. My hands always tooth. All right, tooth and hands. Tooth and nail you can work then. <laughs> Fran, you don't have to worry. Cause I really am not worried at all. You know that I'll take care of everything. I, I know how to keep house pretty well. Well, you have a very orderly mind, and that's what makes me sure that you'll think of everything. Well, I'll miss you, though. Well, I hope you'll do a that. A whole week. As a matter of fact, I expect you to take uh, certain amount of time every day and miss me real hard. We will. Well, every, all right. Every minute. Every minute of the Wonderful. day. Golly, though, I hope you've got everything now. Well, I think I have. We better help you pack. You know, you're faculty for forgetting things when you get your suitcases out. I everything. know, but I think I have everything this time. Well, we, uh, remember uh, the little list that we prepared for you to take to New York to all the people you should see. You've got that. List. You know, the one that we, for all the people you should see, like, be sure to stop and see uh, Cousin Dorothy, or call her at least, and see Fred Waring, and Uncle Sid Igus, and Uncle Joe McConnell, and Uncle Frank Folsom, and uh, mustn't forget to, uh, oh, there's so many, oh, you want to stop and see Lillian I put Gish? that right where I could find it. Now, where did I put it? Well, uh, I memorized it. I don't see how, I don't see why you should forget it, Fred. Well, I... Fran, now, uh, listen here. We can't have that right at the start. You've got to right now make up your mind that you're not going to forget anything. Oh, well, I'm, I won't forget it. Well, where's the list? Put it, I can't. Put it where I wouldn't forget it. I thought at the time, now I'll put it right here and uh, I won't forget it. Well, I'll, uh, I'll find it. I, it's just a matter well, of okay, picking now, it up. You've got your reservations on the train. Or are you going to fly? I never made them. I never made them. You never made the reservations? <laughs> Francis, how are you going to get to New York? I don't know. I was too busy. Oh, I'll go honestly. and make them. I'll no, bet. no, no, no. We'll make them for you somewhere. I'll be done. All right, fine. Well, well I... Hmm? That's no way to behave. No, no I'm You've not. got to remember, you might get to do New York and forget to go to Vermont. Oh, that I won't forget to do. I know that. You're always kidding Beulah Witch about forgetting things and not knowing where she is. I know, but it's just the obvious things that I forget. Little things I won't forget. You got your toothbrush? I didn't put it in. Well, I, I, I bet I have 35,000 toothbrushes. Well, I can get 35,000 in one. This is Ollie. <laughs> this is Ollie. Well, he's never used it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new one. I just Thank got it for him yesterday. Thank you very much. Well, how about your purse? Well, I, um... The change purse. Oh, the change... Well, it's in the big purse. Where's the big purse? I think I know where it is. <laughs> go and get it. Hello, kid! Hello, Beulah. Hello. Oh, bless your heart. There's you a purse. had it. Thank No, you. I didn't have it. I found it. Where? Out the yard. <laughs> I, I found a four-leaf clover. It was such good luck, I forgot my purse. <laughs> you bet. Well, I'm all set, dear. Where are you going? Where am I going? New York with you. Oh, Beulah, I wouldn't. Think of having you do that. Goodness, no. It's a lot of trouble, Beulah. Yes, I don't want Beulah. you to. No, I would do it for this girl. Believe me, this is a sterling girl, this girl is. <laughs> well, this I... is a fine, fine character. Fine, upstanding girl. Helps me out a lot. I wouldn't think you were going any other way. Beulah, you know we shouldn't ever go anywhere together, you and I. Why? Well, because we never go where we set out to go. That's what's fun. 
I know, but this is kind of a business trip, you see, and I... Live dangerously, that's my motto. Well, well yeah. I don't know exactly what to say, but if you... Where do you want me to be, Beulah? When? Well, whenever you want to leave. On the back of the broom. Oh, that I know. You know the seat I, I had fixed up for you there? I know that, but I, uh, where will we start? Where are your, so where are your slacks? We're not going to have the side saddle on. I, I don't think I ought to go to New York and slack. That's all right, dear. Gracious sake, they don't mind. We'll land out in the island somewhere, maybe in Idlewild or somewhere. If you find you can change out there, that'll be great. All sure. right. Well, I'll see you a little later. Then. Oh, me? Yes. Oh. I'll meet you. Well, didn't know that you knew I was going. So long. <laughs> this started out to be such a beautiful arrangement. I, Brian, maybe we can get reservations some other way. But listen, there's something... How about you've brought your little RCA Victor portable? Huh? Oh, yes, I have. Uh, I have my portable. Got mm -hmm. both of them? Yes, yeah, both of them. The those I have. I, well, then, I, there's something I don't want you to forget. Pick them up this afternoon. Oh, well, that's good. Well, there's something I, know I want you to take with you right now. This is, now. I don't want you to forget this. Well, could I put my toothbrush in my bag? I'll be right back. All right, I'll get it all ready all for right. you. Batteries? Right. Well, I uh, I don't believe on the even, you know. I, I have my RCA batteries in there. Long lasting. I won't need any more. I know, I but well, I'm just in case. Now here, these are the little little B batteries. Uh they're uh no, these the are A batteries, I'm sorry. There's eight in here. That'll that'll last you a long My time. Goodness, yes. Nice little handy carrying case. Yes, it is. And here's um here's um B battery. Just B for you to take. They're all long lasting. And then then for your other portable, here's an A battery. Watch. Please. Thank you very much. And uh, then here, uh, oh, you know, the little circus wagon boxes that we have with all the batteries in. Remember? Yeah, well, are you going to take those two? Yeah, I want you to take these. <laughs> all right. And take this one, too. That, that's the, uh, it's the different sizes. That's the large one. That, that handles this. Uh, this is an A and B battery pack. I see. That's the little circus. And then here's another circus, a little smaller circus wagon that handles a different size for your... Never mind the reservations, I'll just go on these. <laughs> Here, here's the A and B a pack uh, for the other side, you see. Give me more. <laughs> All set? Yes. Well, I'll have another circus wagon if you want. Well, I think, uh, thanks a lot, but I think I'm all right. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, and I wasn't asking you to take them for your own self. The thing was, I thought you'd take these up to Mrs. Dragon. Oh, cool. She, she uh, provides cool. portables for all the customers in the summer. And she might like to just see, you know, just exactly how much she needs of what, and we can order them from RCA dealer and just send them to her. Well, wonderful. Sure. I'd be glad to. Shall I take them over and put them in the case now? Mm hmm All right. And come back, because I have something for you. All right. Just a minute. I you were wonderful to think of these. I got these at my radio dealer. Good. I went down today. Fran, mm -hmm. Jack wrote something I want you to... To work on while you're gone, if you will. Uh, you know, Jack is really the king of, of the... Singing general, commercial. Yes, the singing commercial here in, in the Midwest. He's a Midwest king. See, this looks fine, but it's a kind of a duet. It's a little duet, but the thing is, um, we I'd like you to learn it because it's about RCA batteries, and I think it's a terribly attractive number. My part's in the red. Hmm? Your part's in the red. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Yeah. Well, um... All I, right. I was thinking maybe if... Um, well, Ollie, come here. Ollie? Mm-hmm. What? Um, here's a commercial that we want Fran to learn. Oh, yeah, that's a very cute little commercial, Jack Crow. Uh, we were thinking, um, if it's a duet, maybe you'd like to sing it with somebody. Well, I certainly would. You? No. You? Neither one. I don't think You know Tilstrom? He doesn't get a break except once in a while at the end. Did you sing? <laughs> he sings, and uh, as a matter of fact, you know, well, uh, Tony how Romano and Johnny Bradford are here today, and he's so anxious to impress them, so we thought we could try him out for the thing. If you could sort of give him a hand. How's his wardrobe? Well, he has sports shirts. Well, that's all right. We'd go in the control room. All right, we'll give the boy a chance. Well, you you run over it, and and, and we'll send him. Sure, I will. Jack, help me, please, will you? RCA batteries, RCA batteries, RCA. 
A. Fat. The new boy. <laughs> well, well, have you seen this? No, I haven't. Well, uh, my part is in the red. Your part is in the black. In the black. <coughs> Didn't you know that? <coughs> Check with your local dealer, he knows that RCA batteries will last and last because they're powerful. Long-lasting RCA batteries. RCA. All right. Very good. Leave your name at the front office. <laughs> Need something, Jack. Let's try it again, try it again please. I, I didn't. Not the back office. <laughs> well, I felt that uh, I really didn't have a right chance. May I try it once more? Why, certainly. <laughs> this is my better side, sister. <laughs> RCA batteries, RCA batteries, powerful. RCA batteries, long lasting. RCA batteries, powerful. Long lasting. RCA batteries. Check with your local dealer, he knows that RCA batteries will last and last because they're powerful. Long-lasting RCA batteries. RCA. Better? Better. Leave your name. All Don't right. call us, we'll call you. <laughs> Thank you. Fine. I, I want to give the boy a chance. But I don't know. There's always a sponsor to think about. I think we should try it again. Jack? <laughs> Not quite, hmm? Is that what you thought? <laughs> Not just exactly. <clears throat> RCA batteries. RCA batteries. RCA batteries. RCA batteries. RCA batteries. RCA batteries. Long-lasting RCA batteries For all different kinds of portable radios Check with your local dealer He knows that RCA batteries Will last and last because they're powerful Long-lasting RCA batteries RCA! <laughs> That's what it needs. That's what it needs. I think so. Surprisingly, you have the same range <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fran, you haven't forgotten anything else, have you? I, I think not. Where are your suitcases? Didn't you take them out of the trunk when we drove them? Fran. But you said, I thought you said. Francis, did you put them in the trunk? Well, now that I think of it. I'm not quite sure. You know, we're liable to lose you when you go to New York. I No, I don't think you are. I'm going to make sure of that. What are you doing, Coop? No, I... Would you mind pinning that on the front of your dress? <laughs> to whom it may concern. <laughs> now, inside that note is your address and your name. And uh, there's a, it says that we will accept your COD. <laughs> you just tell the conductor if anything happens. I'll tell him. I tell you, that's the whole thing. This girl is just... She's our forgetful friend. If you're talking to a girl who's very pretty With a way of making conversation witty and if she should ask you, have you seen my bracelets and my earrings? I've looked in every place I can. But I've lost them. That is our forgetful friend. If 
if you're at a movie made by Daryl Zanuck And the girl who's next to you is in a panic If she whispers, have you seen a pair of ladies reading glasses? I had them when the show began But I'd lost them oh, That is our forgetful friend Now her trouble isn't caused by lack of trying She remembers all the lyrics that she sings But I must admit there is no denying I forget the place where I misplace my things oh, If you see a girl who's very kind and gentle With a wistful look that's likely sentimental won't you please return her COD to KFO Chicago as quickly as you possibly can? We need her, for we love forgetful friends. This here. Well, it's all in that note. Well, I'll, I'll wear it all the time. You bet it. I will. You really haven't forgotten all those things. I think I have almost everything. Oh. I have them. I just don't remember where he put them. Well, I'm going to check. Fran, now, be very careful. Don't talk to any strangers. Oh, no, I wouldn't do I don't that. want any, anybody to, 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 to come up and talk to you, and you don't... I just don't think you... I think you should wear dark glasses. Dark glasses? Yes, I think you should. I just can't see with light ones. <laughs> Well, I'm not worrying about you. It's about other people. Well, all right. If and, you and I've got it fixed so that if you, if you ride on the train from New York to Dragon Retreat, you can ride with the engineer. Really? Yes. Just Wonderful. Give my love to Mary Martin. Oh, I will. And, uh, oh, dear. And, and go to see Red Wing while you're at it. Oh, I'll see Red Wing. I'll see Mr. Waring. Oh, please. And I'll see H. Allen Smith. Oh, I hope so. And uh, Nell. Oh. And, uh, oh, ever so many. Oh, and it's Betty. Betty Holland? Well, Betty Holland, I want to yeah. see, of course. And Betty Forsling. Betty Forsling, dear oh, old Miss so, Forsling. Yes, I want to see one. her. Hello, dear. We're all set. The broom's out there on the landing field. Is it Buell? Yes, it's on the runway. It's going to rev her up now, so just that. Well, go ahead and rev. Goodbye, dear. Nice seeing you. <laughs> Goodbye. Nice seeing you. Goodbye, Beulah. Uh, Have a nice trip. <laughs> Bad news for you. Didn't you get the other reservation? No. I'm afraid you're going to have to go. Well, Hong Kong, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fran, it won't be so bad. I don't think, because uh, I, th I think she's got a compass on there now. Yes, but it runs backwards. Well, can't you navigate that way? Reverse. You mean from the left? Yeah. Well, I could try. It'd be very interesting. You call as soon as you get there. Will oh, you? I will. Cool. And we'll take care of everything. I'll call you every single day. And no matter where you are, friend, always remember this. In television, it's RCA. Victor. <laughs> from uh, I'm working on my singing commercial. I also want to say good night and thank you for Kukla and all the Kukla Politan characters. Powerful, long lasting RCA Victor. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.